the theater bought a LaCroix and he's like, um, how much are the LaCroix? And I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I was like, uh, they're, they're $2. <laughs> De franc? Yeah. <laughs> De euros. <laughs> monsieur <laughs> and then i was like enjoy the show he's like i'll try i was like okay god fuck off D- or don't yeah what i don't do give i care a shit what you do <laughs> enjoy your lacroix you twa yeah <laughs> you twa <laughs> uh, oh, uh, shit. all right all right <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's already off to a great start what's up everybody uh, i'm Aaron. i'm nicole welcome to do that's fucked up yeah um yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) sorry i'm doing do not disturb things okay oh same 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 oh cool nobody disturb me while i'm working yeah at my job (laughs) (laughs) i'm at work everyone fucking i'm at work okay i don't come and slap the dicks out of your mouth (laughs) (laughs) or whatever i don't the yanni eggs yeah (laughs) I don't come slap the yanni eggs out of your coot. Yeah. Your twat. <laughs> well, your twas. Sorry, this is a very aggressive beginning. Um, <laughs> we don't want to insinuate that we are slapping dicks or grabbing yanni eggs. I don't know. Or nani eggs, yanni eggs. I don't know. But I don't want to. Ex- I don't want to. Uh, wait, what? It's the word? Oh. In- insinuate? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to insinuate that I'm not. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> I'll slap want- a dick if I want. Oh, okay. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> um, what's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing out there? Yeah, I hope everyone's good. Um, I would like to, if we're moving on to business, mm-hmm. um, I would like to plug my friend's new podcast. Um, her name is Rachel, and she- oh, hello, Jack. He had to move his head. I was afraid he wasn't breathing. Oh, well, because he like buries his face, and I'm like, "Are you um alive?" Yeah, but he's um, fine. You got to keep airways clear, bud. Yeah, just he's fine. Okay, um, my friend Rachel uh just started a podcast. It's uh it's very fun, very funny. Ooh. Uh, it's called Talk to My Assistant, and it's for like if you're starting out in Hollywood and you want to get <gasps> some information. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and she has uh. Because uh, she's my comedy friend. She's very funny. And she wants to, like, uh, make this a comedy podcast, but also informative. Yeah. Um, she brings guests on. She was uh-huh. an assistant at FX. And oh, cool. Yeah. So she brings other guests on that have been assistants or are still assistants. And she keeps their identities uh, secret so oh. they can tell all the fucking weird shit that they have Spill to do for their boss. Spill that tea, bitch. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, this so is it's very, very cool. fun. Yeah, very so check, fun. I would say to everyone, check it out. If you, it's it's very informative. If you like, are very curious about maybe you want to start a job in Hollywood and you know you got to start at the bottom, and yep. you could start as an assistant. Um, or if you just are looking for like an inside scoop on Hollywood, it's very fun. I love uh, it. That yeah. is very cool. I yeah. am am interested. I will definitely be checking that out. I love anything that's like entertainment, like centric so yeah that's super fun yeah um very cool yeah so um that was a piece of business I guess yeah uh I don't think we have any other business just you know you're gonna be in town uh this week <gasps> oh my god so uh excited. I'm I handmade something for Jack what yeah I can't don't wait to share show you. I was gonna I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you're the best. I was gonna share. text it to you yesterday, like, look what I made for your baby, but then I'm like, no, it'll be a surprise. Tight. I'm so yeah. excited. Yeah, Jack I'm excited. Is, Jack is gonna love it. He better love it. He better love it. I, uh, well, he doesn't you know. know. He's not really that sentient just yet, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Well, hopefully you like it, and then hopefully it's useful for a little bit, and then. Uh, yeah, it's so exciting. It'll Very be cool. fun. Yeah. Mm, I have yeah. A so. Sewing machine. Oh my God, you are yeah. so crafty. I don't yeah. know how to use a sewing machine. I think I tried <laughs> once in like eighth grade when we had home ec. Yeah, we, we yeah. took home ec. That's yep. how old we are. We had to. That's how old we, we had are. to. 
Uh huh. And you, we made fucking oh god, it was so dumb. We made like uh, the Kleenex Kle- box, yeah. like cover. <laughs> How did I know uh, that's what you were going to say? Because we I made know. some other stuff too, but that was the one thing uh, I remember. Do you remember what yours looked like? Uh, no, I have no idea. I think I gave I'm, it to like my great grandparents or something. I'm trying to like see it in my mind's eye. Like I think it was, it was hideous. I'm sure. Yeah. I think like, I don't like remember green. anything about it. Mine was like green and brown. I oh, think God. it was not cute. I was like matching my, uh, my Kleenex box cover to my braces, probably, because who knows what middle school kids are doing? You know, oh, they're God, yeah. We're just idiots. Uh, Listen, with no, no concept of of color scheme. Oh God, I've talked about it before, but there was a girl uh, in that class of mine, and she was scary, and she had a baby at home, and she was like thirteen, and and she was very a very angry, probably pretty damaged young lady oh now, now looking back on it but she yeah. just was a fucking bitch to everyone just <laughs> and like mean projecting and I, all that anger <laughs> oh god and all i did was kiss her ass because i didn't want her to be mean to me and i hated it i just like hated that class but then it's also the class i met our friend sandra in so oh uh that's so sweet yeah that sandra yeah. is another friend that we've had since eighth grade she's the mm-hmm. best yeah she's great um, yeah, what a terrible time in in life. I Ugh. I remember uh, at one point, um, one of the student teachers or like the you know uh, teachers aides for yeah our English teacher. Did you have Mr. Locke? No. Oh well, one of the student teachers who like helped out in his class saw me like when we were working retail, and she like came into the store and was like. Oh my God, Erin. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen you. And I literally could not remember this woman to save my life because I had such trauma that I blacked out my entire eighth grade year. Like all the memories <laughs> like that I have are really sparse because of how traumatic and because I had just moved up to the mountains and yeah. I didn't know anybody you were like one of my first friends and it yeah. was so hard. It was awful and everybody was so mean and I already had friends that they'd grown up with since like, you know, they were two years old or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What a, it was a rough time to have moved. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. I couldn't, excuse me. I couldn't imagine like moving, especially that year. I had glasses and braces. I had, I think, just started my period. It was just a rough time. Oh, God. The worst. I mean, did you see the... Oh, no. I don't think you saw the movie Eighth Grade, but... Oh, I heard it's so good. It's good. I feel like uh, some of it... It's unrealistic. Yeah, some of it was unrealistic (laughs) to me, a few bits of it. But, like, there's a scene where she, like, walks into a party, and I just, like, started crying. I was like, this time of life sucks so bad Uh uh-huh uh and I couldn't control my emotions I wasn't drunk or anything I just like she just it was like so uncomfortable Uh. and I was just like oh god and I just like started like I know this feeling so much yeah oh god everyone I feel like had so many emotions at that movie but uh I need to watch it yeah anyway enough about our awkward eighth grade terrible adolescence I mean it wasn't terrible it was fine I was loved and supported and had friends and it was fine yeah we got through it uh yeah I think it made me a nicer person yeah much more empathetic and compassionate yeah to some degree but also probably made us assholes for a little while because you have to like survive so you do what you can to survive I think yeah so you're like I need to be one of the liked kids so yeah man I hope I hope uh now that I don't know god I've said it before but with social media how horrible it must be now like it's like times a million oh it's yeah so scary to think about not having a kid and like trying to figure out how to like raise them to be like not assholes or or <laughs> you know yeah or like to not be super isolated and like yeah. not have a lot you know like they need to be face to face with people totally and or to like happen and not not only that, like to be like a good person to like be like like a leader kind of. And if people are being assholes, to have the courage to be like, "Hey, stop being a jerk and like be confident enough." Yeah, you know what I mean to like be speak up, uh, speak up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a tall order, I think, but Dude. we'll see what happens. <laughs> you can do it. I hope so. 
God, so much to think about. I can, I'm can. i just really overwhelmed just trying to keep him alive. And then I th- start thinking about this shit, and I'm like, oh, my God, damn it. What did I do? What did I get myself into? But it's like your mind space right now is, like, consumed with things that you have to do for him. And as that starts to taper off because he learns to do those things for himself, your mind uh-huh. can occupy with other things, like how to make yeah. sure he's a good human. So yeah. it'll, you know, it's like, it, it's like a some moves in, some moves out. And then, That's true. That's true. And you'll never not worry about him, even when That's he's true. 30. That's you know? true. But but it'll get less, hopefully. It's it'll so be weird like, to think oh. about a baby becoming a 30-year-old. <laughs> Dude. It's so weird. I'm like, but you're just so little and precious. I can't even imagine you as an adult or, like, even a teenager. You know, it's just so yeah weird to think even like a fucking toddler it's like you're just this little baby i don't know no he's gonna be like a 14 year old someday with like raging hormones uh. hogging the bathroom and you're gonna be like i know what he's doing in there i don't want to <laughs> talk to him about it dj you're on this <laughs> yeah you're on the case kid oh my god yeah. well anyway yeah anything fucked up for you this week um, I, this just in, which it's going to be old news by the time this comes out, but I just oh got God. a news alert that the Biebs and Haley Baldwin are married. They are, they're married. They did it. It's official. It has in happened. The, in the eyes of Lentz, <laughs> <laughs> our, the Lord, our Lord and Savior. What's his name again? Pete Lentz or no? <laughs> Carl, Carl Lentz. Yeah, Pete yeah. Wentz, Carl Lentz, same guy, <laughs> probably. Oh, um, what, man. What, I feel like maybe Carl Lentz is Pete Wentz's evil twin. Yeah. But but everyone thinks he's the good twin. Yeah, like he's like, oh, I'm so, I'm so perfect and sweet and yeah. love the Lord, but actually. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Okay, oh, so well. what's your fucked up thing? Um. So I was looking online at three o'clock in the morning like reading (laughs) news stories as i as i do when i'm feeding this creature yeah and uh i was just reading this story about how in new mexico they uh this like observatory Mm -hmm. was uh evacuated and like the fbi is involved oh and so i think we're either going to be invaded by aliens or there's a meteorite (laughs) coming for us so it's very secretive and mysterious and weird and nobody knows. Even like the local like sheriff's department's like, we don't know what the fuck's going on. The FBI wouldn't tell us anything. No one tells the local sheriffs anything. That's, that's true. That's like the, <laughs> that's like the They're reputation like, sorry, they have. Sorry, hot dog squad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They're just like a bunch of like local yokels. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what, like how big this town is that the, the observatory's in, but like it's just so it, it, it's a little unsettling. You oh, know? oh, wait, but it's in Albuquerque. Uh, I don't know. I, oh, I just assume. I think you said New Mexico, and then I just assumed Albuquerque. Like I, <laughs> there's nothing else but Santa Fe in New Mexico to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, oh, I mean, yeah. Albuquerque is a pretty big, pretty big city. Yeah, that's their capital capital yeah. yeah i don't know i've never been to new mexico although i think i would love it because i love the desert and i love i don't know yanni eggs and crystals y- yeah i do <laughs> i do but uh yeah so i don't know i just think we're about to be invaded by aliens they won't oh they God. won't say anything it's creepy it's weird who knows but but aliens or a comet or it's the resurrection of her f- apple white or oh yeah uh what other space things have we talked about a black hole oh we did we didn't no we haven't talked about that oh okay that'd be good i was just thinking of space things (laughs) the north star orion's belt (laughs) the milky way (laughs) men in black (laughs) oh my Uh. god uh, well, something's happening, and we don't know. They they won't tell us. Oh, uh, what? Who's so they? The people. By the time this comes out, maybe we'll all be in the path of a of a meteorite hurtling towards Earth and about to put us all out of our misery of this year. I don't know. 
<laughs> yeah. No, that 100% checks out, which would also explain the Haley Baldwin Bieber marriage that we just talked about. So uh, it's all happening, you guys. We're going to be moon signs, dust. Signs of the apocalypse. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, well, speaking of aliens, you know who I think might be an alien? Um, let me. Do you want me to guess? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, pro- probably an alive person. I was going to say B. Arthur, but she's dead. But she could have been an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Why be Arthur? I don't know. She just popped into my head. She's kind of tall and gangly, right? Okay, okay. Know who I really think's an alien? Who? Steve Buscemi. Mm, I love Steve Buscemi. Me too. I'm not. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Mm. He was like, yeah, he's a good, he's a good dude. Uh, if I thought there was a bad alien, okay, so Steve Buscemi is a, like, a good alien. Um, mm-hmm. if I was thinking there was a bad alien, it would probably be the Hadid sisters. Gigi <laughs> Hadid. And the other one. That I never know her name. <laughs> the, uh, and the other one. <laughs> I don't either. That's so sad. I was like, oh, duh, what, what's her name? And then I don't know it. It's like, it's like. Gigi, yeah, and the other one. Is it Gigi or Gigi? Just Gigi. Oh, uh, well, I would only pronounce that name Gigi. Why? Well, it's not Gigi. Gigi. (laughs) Gigi Hadid. That sounds like aggressive. Gigi. But Gigi sounds very French. But, like, she's not. Oh. (laughs) Well... I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe she. I don't fucking oh, care. Oh, I know the other one's name. Oh, what it's is it? Worse. Oh, what is it? Bella. Oh, I love the name Bella. Oh, well, I like the name Bell. Uh, Bella is like I don't like fucking either of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Bella is like fucking Twilight, right? <laughs> okay. Well. Was that the main character's name? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Kristen what? Stewart, the character. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Someone, I never read those books. <laughs> someone has a dark secret and it is pale. It is bloody. And it is the Twilight series. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to get, um, or I didn't want to get, but I always like thought it was so funny how people were so obsessed with Robert Pattinson's character as 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 a vampire that they went so far as to like make dildos that were Dude. like like childos. Oh yeah, the twilight dildos that you put in the freezer. Yeah. yeah, and they're like cold so you can like pretend like you're banging a vampire. Like man, I don't like people that. are fucking crazy. Just you just buy a regular dildo and put it in the freezer. You don't have to pay yeah. the markup for the twilight version. No. Get that silicone grade or that medical grade silicone, just slap it in the fridge and you're fine. Dude, or like, or just don't yeah. do that. Why would you just everybody stop? Everybody <laughs> needs to go to jail. I hate it. <laughs> I don't know. Where were we? Everybody <laughs> needs to go to jail. I hate it. It's so I I don't know why I started thinking about this, but goddamn it, fucking Twilight like fucked up an entire generation of people, I think. Anyway. Anyway, oh but uh was I who's guessing a, who's, aliens? Yeah, who was the who was the evil alien that you were saying? Did you say? Did you already say? Yeah, the Hadid sisters and the one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they oh, probably are. Yeah, I believe that. I think or Taylor Swift. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's definitely an alien. Well, that's why they're friends. <laughs> that, they're all from the same planet. Yeah. Is and <laughs> I don't know. And Lena Dunham is their queen. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. The planet of problematic white women. <laughs> oh, God. What's, anyway, wait, well. Wait, uh, what's that planet called? Um, It's just like one long sigh. <sighs> <sighs> like an exasperated sigh. Like what? it's not a real word. It's just like a, an emotion. <laughs> oh, that's good. I was going to uh, say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was going to say uh, it's uh, uh, a. <laughs> Hashtag women helping women. <laughs> but ironically, obviously. Um, um, okay, but well, who's an alien? Um, it's Bill Murray. Oh. Speaking of problematic. problematic. Uh, yeah. It's Bill Murray. He's 
so he seems so delightful. There's so many great stories about him out out in the wild, just like running. Like it's so crazy to me how he's just it seems to be in so many places that are yeah. super random. Yeah, all the time. Like he's yeah. just like at a fucking but, Hyatt at some wedding for some reason. Like yeah, like, and, and I so don't cute know. and funny and like uh, interacts with all these fans and we honestly, and he seems so accessible and yeah. so like friendly. But, like, also weird and quirky and maybe mercurial. Like, you might catch him on a bad day and he might tell you to fuck off. Which is fun. Like, but then pay for your dinner or something. Yeah. Uh, so, who knows? Well, and we didn't know. So, we were le- going to lean into, like, this whole, oh, isn't he a treat? And uh, there's all these really fun fan interactions. And, like, they're not even urban legends around him because it's a lot of it's true and, like, verified. Uh, yeah, there's like video but, of it. Yeah, there's yeah. video of it, and it's just kind of fun. Uh, but then when we were doing our research, we did find something it, about him that ha- is not good. So we'll also yeah. talk about that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna unpack it so at the know. end. Yeah, just so yeah. you know, that wasn't the point of this. We we weren't like, let's talk about what a fucked up asshole he is. We were like, oh, he seems so lovely. But then we were like, oops, well. Yikes. So Well, it makes it makes the topic actually fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, right, because it wasn't fucked up before. So, you know what? We're on brand. Bill fucking Murray. I Dude. I mean, I we all grew up with him and watching like iconic movies and watching SNL and yeah. he's like one of the greatest people in comedy. Mm-hmm. Period. So weird. Uh in a delightful way. Yeah. He's in he's in so many movies. Like when I looked up on his IMDb, um, it was crazy how many movies he was in. Oh, because it's like you think first of all, like you're like oh, going into like just thinking of go, going into thinking all the movies that he's in. You're thinking oh, just like comedic movies, but no. then you forget you forget that he's in like so many like dramatic roles too that are so fucking good. Yeah, uh, like all the Wes Anderson movies. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, which I I would get, I guess I would label like dark comedy or sort of like dramedy. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I don't like Wes Anderson movies. Oh, I love I love them. I think the aesthetic is so delightful. I like how they look. Uh, they are very like cinematically cool. Uh huh. But then like but they're like super formulaic. Yeah. Okay. That's what bothered me because I I loved when the Royal Tenenbaums came out. I was like obsessed. I was like, this is such a that's good a movie. great movie. It's so it's good. A great movie. But then it was like, then it was like, I don't know. I saw Moonrise Kingdom and I was like, oh, this just feels like I've seen it before, even though I haven't. And then I watched yeah. like the Grand Budapest Hotel and same thing. It just like yeah, he has like a formula that. It's fine, but also they're always a little too long. Yeah, there's just so many things about him that are like, aside from his movies, like we said, there's all these stories about him. Yeah. And because there's so many stories, people just like started aggregating him. There's like a whole website dedicated to, it's literally called Bill Mur- Bill Murray Stories. Dot yeah. com. Okay, that was so fun. And like you could just go on. There's like hundreds of stories that people submit. And like some of them have pictures or video that they also send in. Because he's like very gracious a lot of the time, I feel like, and takes photos or like signs an autograph or whatever, which is pretty right. cool. Um, but also I saw this morning uh, that that last week – Um, this documentary that someone made called Bill Murray Stories, Life Lessons Learned from a Mythical Man, which I don't know if it's connected to this blog. I didn't see that it was, but it, like, has a similar idea and, like, name. Um, so this guy made a documentary, and it was just acquired, and they're gonna, like, release it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it's just, like, lots of footage, and, um, I watched the trailer for it. It's, like, um kind of like testimonials and people retelling their run-ins with Bill Murray. Oh, wow. And just like how wild they were and how cool it was and stuff like that. Um, That's cool. Yeah, but that was was actually released, like that story was released on – Bill Murray Day, which happy Bill Murray – happy belated Bill Murray Day. It was on September 5th. Oh, my God. That's (laughs) awesome. I didn't know he had a whole day for himself. I know. Me either. I – I mean, I don't think he has it for himself. People have no, made he, it. No, somebody made it up, and it's just it's taken on a life of its own, and yeah. it's it's super fun. 
Uh, I was watching a Dodger game the other day. Uh-huh. I think they were playing the Cubs. Oh. Was it the Dodgers? I can't remember, but the cu- a Cubs game was on, basically. And mm-hmm. the game <laughs> was slow, so they just kept showing Bill Murray in the, in the crowd. And just all the announcers were doing were talking about Bill Murray. It was really <laughs> funny. Like, Well, because he was keeping score, like, a, on, like an official scorecard, you know? Yeah. And, like, doing the full fucking, you know... Oh. Like... Or like the full thing, like not yeah. just like, I don't know. That's kind of hard to do. So, because you have to really pay attention to the game. <laughs> I like how there was like so little going on in a Cubs game that they're just like, all, yeah. all they're doing is talking about Bill Murray. Hmm. Yeah. Like it, they'd show the batter and they'd like, it was just like, oh, there's just another strike or another foul ball. And oh, and Bill Murray. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> during the World Series, did you know that he, it was just like, they just couldn't stop talking about him. It was really funny. Oh. Um, yeah. So people are like enchanted by Bill Murray because yeah. he is so – he seems so accessible and so uh, fun. And he has these like pearls of wisdom that are just so random. Yeah. That are are truly lovely sometimes. So it's 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 nice yeah. to, to hear these stories and that, you know, people are, are – he's – had all these interactions with fans and stuff and very interesting. Yeah. Um, Especially he's like so, he's like so famous because he's been in like so many big movies. Um, Like, well, like Caddyshack, which you watched while you had Jack. Yes, I did. And I watched uh, Groundhog Day. Oh, well, also that, that was, it was that was on first, and then and then Caddyshack came on second. I mean, wait, did you like put them on, or they were just on like TV? They were just on TV. Oh, like, that's so um, good. And I was like, yes, I will watch fucking Groundhog Day while I'm in labor. This is exactly what I want. In were the background. they were they um uh like P- were they like censored for TV? Yeah, it was like on like AMC or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Like they, it was fine, but uh, I mean, I wasn't really paying deep attention to them i wasn't like wait like i wasn't watch watching them i was like it's on in the background yeah yeah bill murray is soothing me yeah through this, <laughs> <laughs> through this terrible time <laughs> oh my god know who i love uh his brother who i would argue is just as famous brian doyle murray who i think that's is a just hard a argument to i don't have. know if anyone knows who he is <laughs> but uh, he's he, he's like a character actor. He's in almost every movie Bill Murray's in. Really? Yeah. He like if you look at his film credits, he's in so many movies. Um, my favorite Brian Doyle Murray role is in Wayne's World. He plays Noah. He plays Noah. Um, what's his Noah Vanderhoff? The um. Oh, the Noah's the Noah's Arcade yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. And a sphincter says what? uh what what that's his brother that's brian doyle oh. murray and he's the best he's like in so much stuff but he's not as famous arguably not as famous but i love him i mean it's not an argument he's not as famous <laughs> well potato potato but <laughs> i mean recognizable maybe but not not necessarily fame like if you saw him on the street you'd be like i know that guy somehow you know but you wouldn't be like that's that's what, I don't even know what his name is again. What okay, is it? Okay, it's Brian Doyle Murray. And you wouldn't Brian be Doyle like, Murray. oh, that's Brian Doyle Murray. But I would be like, ooh, Brian Doyle Murray. <laughs> we got ourselves a Brian Doyle Murray stand here. <laughs> whoop, whoop. You have like a frame uh, headshot of him in your bedroom. <laughs> BDM, BDM, unt, 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 unt. Uh, uh, my whole apartment's just like Brian Doyle Murray themed. <laughs> I'm going to have a Brian Doyle Murray fucking birthday next year. Oh, my God. Uh, um, well, but, yeah, he doesn't have a holiday, so I guess he's less famous. Yeah, not as famous. I mean, he's not showing up at, to people's bachelor parties and, and people are like, yeah, Brian Doyle Murray. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, true. Well, we don't know. Maybe because he's like technically not as famous. No one's like really writing about it. But I think true. you're probably right. Also, I think he's maybe a little bit more of a family man. Yeah. You know, Bill Murray's like a bachelor, so I feel like yeah. his life is a little different. Also, I think yeah. he drinks a lot. 
Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, and no <laughs> by no by no fault of his own, because every time he has any one of these fan interactions, people are just literally buying shots for him <laughs> constantly. It's other people's so, faults. It's other people's <laughs> faults. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but yeah. So Bill Murray, though, in in researching this, like some of the funniest stories that I had forgotten about about him uh, kept popping up, like. Um, the um, well, one that's not so funny, but one that I didn't know was that he got arrested back in the seventies, like I think nineteen seventy, probably. He got oh. arrested for quote unquote smuggling. Well, he was uh, ten pounds of weed on a flight. <laughs> on a flight. Well, it is pretty funny actually. He was he had ten pounds of weed on on his person with like intent to sell because oh what are you gonna do with ten pounds of weed? Um, just like on a domestic flight and he got caught because he was joking about it with the person next to him. What? <laughs> yeah. And he just like, he got arrested for it. And I think he, he just like had to serve probation, but I thought that was a pretty, pretty funny story. And like, that was like when he was like getting I, was he already famous for SNL? I can't remember. No, I don't think so. Oh no, yeah, he wasn't on SNL till this till seventy seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But th- I thought that was a really funny story. Um, That's funny. Good thing he wasn't a black man. Yeah, because he would just be in jail still, probably <laughs> yeah, for sure. This isn't a funny story, but it was something that's very interesting. Because now when I when I think of Bill Murray, I think of The Chive. Do you know The Chive? Oh, yeah. Of course. My brother has, like, a Bill Murray shirt f- that he bought from The Chive. Like, he's, like, that. He's, like, The Chive's fucking... Poster like, boy. <laughs> poster boy. He's, like, their core demographic. That totally checks out. Um, mm-hmm. uh, because I know your brother. Uh, yep. I also have the Bill Murray shirt, but I got it at work because we worked with them and they gave us a bunch of free shirts. So I have one and it's very fun. And I always get compliments on it when I'm out and I wear it. Um, Yeah. But uh, so so he's like the official face of the chive. Oh, sorry. The unofficial face because they like somehow at some point just kind of like started using his likeness with and he's like Mm. in a suit. I don't really know what it's from and I don't know why they did that, but they started putting it on shirts and they started like telling a bunch of stories about him. Um, Yeah. And their, their mission statement, if you will, is humor, hotness and humanity. Which I feel like those don't really go together, but... No, and I don't think they're very representative of the chive. <laughs> what, what do you think a better mission statement is? Uh, boobs, Cheetos, <laughs> and... Red Bull. <laughs> and punching down. I don't know, maybe. Oh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Boobs, no, no shade, Cheetos. no shade, no shade to the to the chive. They're They're... Yeah, no, you could shade them. I was gonna say sexist. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say sexist, broy, and Cheeto- beer. Beer, yeah. <laughs> Cheetos is very funny. Um, yeah, I. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess no shade to Cheetos is yeah. what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Oh, hell no. I, I got into like a five minute conversation about how good Cheetos are last night. I was like, mm-hmm. how did I end up here? But also they are very good. Um but, uh, f- uh, so they were using his face on like a bunch of shit and selling it. And it was like uh, tons of merch, right? Tons of merch, stickers. Like it was like mugs. They, they have a whole store and they were selling his face on a bunch of stuff and it was all unlicensed. And so oh they, my God. so like, I think he finally reached out. He's also like, I don't think he cared that much, but they technically owed him a ton of money. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you could just can't do that I yeah it's like yeah yeah and so they actually uh worked with him to start a golf clothing line and it's called <laughs> william murray golf and so they sell on the, like the chive website golf apparel that is bill murray's company which is that's like so funny it's so weird and i guess he probably gets some money from that but i don't know if that's true that's that's really funny. I mean, that's like uh, instead of him being a dickhead and being like, I'm suing you for using my likeness yeah, or he, like sending them a cease and desist, period, yeah. which actually they probably did send a cease and desist. And then you just work. He just worked something out with him where he didn't like have to like 
go nuclear. He just was like, all right, just don't do that anymore and do this instead. Yeah. He was like, like that's, that's cool. Yeah. I like it. It's kind of a nice yeah. thing. Um, and then I think my favorite story though uh-huh. is the Garfield story. Oh, it is it's so good. It's so funny. I think this is what happens when you smoke too much weed and get too many shots from your fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also you, it, when you don't have a um, a publicist, an agent, or a manager <laughs> uh, and just use an 800 number to field um, oh movie pitches, uh, this is what happens. Like he does not have any of those things. He doesn't have, no. like I said, he doesn't have a publicist, manager, or an agent. And he he literally set up an eight hundred number for people to call him in the industry yeah. to to like get in touch with him. Like even his lawyer doesn't have like a fucking cell phone number for him or anything. No, he I, he probably doesn't have a cell phone. He you, just no, it's ha- has it's this eight hundred number. It's so crazy in today's world. Insane. And you know what else is weird? Uh, the um. He, up until a few years ago, I'm pretty sure he just had like a literal answering machine at that number, like yeah, a, a like a tape playback type. Like he, if he was traveling, he wouldn't get his messages. Right, right, right. He he, like it had a physical yeah, had to physically go push play on a fucking answering Jeez. machine. Yeah, that is crazy. He, he also has like a PO box too that like people send him things in, uh, like contracts and shit like that if he needs to say i don't know oh my god should it's we all... plug that we have a p.o box and you can send us stuff oh yeah we do. yeah you can send a if you have anything you want to send us it's a p.o box shit two six three five seven i think <laughs> yeah did yes. i get it p.o box two six three five seven washington dc two zero 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 one yes there, there we go. We have a P.O. box like Bill Murray. Um, yeah. yeah, but I just think this is the funniest story because he basically signed on to do Garfield, the movie Garfield. Do you guys remember this movie? Yeah. It was like a live action and animation like like post Who Framed Roger Rabbit kind of movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um only was it CGI? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I guess it's like kind of CGI animated. I don't know what the term is for that, but it's like well, dual. It's like ha- You know, there's like people in it and an animated or CGI yeah. thing. And it was yeah. like I think it was like early two thousands. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, he he did the movie Garfield because mm-hmm. <laughs> he thought that the director of the movie was going to be one of the Cohen brothers. Oh my god. Because it was a guy named Joel Cohen. Yeah, but not the Joel Cohen no. of Cohen Brothers fame. No. Like, not not the Joel Cohen who did Fargo. No. Nope, like, nope, nope. It was, and it was like C-O, so this is the problem with using and relying on a voicemail uh, <laughs> uh, answering machine type setup. Someone could say, my name's Joel Cohen, I wrote this Garfield script, I want to send it to you, and he's like, ooh, a Co- Joel Cohen, thinking it's C-O-E-N, not C-O-H-E-N, which is what it was. And yeah. so he's like, send me the script. And he read a couple of pages and was like, yeah, I'll do it. But I don't <laughs> think he did any background on this because, like, do you guys <laughs> know what Garfield is? <laughs> <laughs> do you all remember Garfield, the comic strip? Uh, the fucking cat who loves lasagna. Well, that's no, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! But like, okay, what if it would have been a Coen Brothers Garfield? It probably would have been fantastic. Oh, it would have been amazing. But so <laughs> that would, I mean, I would say yes to that too. But then it's like, go just one layer deeper. You know, peel back the layers of the onion, and the onion, and like look at. I just snorted snot out my nose a little. Um, <laughs> cute cute i'm like so cute but like peel back the layers a little bit and look like who else is signed on to this movie because if you would have looked it's not it wasn't brad pitt it wasn't francis <laughs> mcdormand it wasn't steve buscemi it wasn't even like john goodman or jeff bridges it was brecken meyer aka <laughs> travis from clueless and fucking jl J-L-H, Jennifer Love Hewitt. So. Oh, fucking hell. You know oh, what? Lord it's Jesus. fucking good for them because they made a movie with the Bill Murray, but 
poo poo for Bill Murray because he made a movie with <laughs> Breckenmeyer and Jennifer Love Hewitt. I mean, yeah. So he did this movie <laughs> thinking it was going to be a Coen Brothers movie, and it was not a Coen Brothers movie. And then by the time he realized it, he's like, "Oh well, let's just do it. I will make money from it." Uh, I think. I don't know how much he got paid, but he basically just had to go do voice work for it. He and got like 50 grand. Yeah, it was like nothing. He just, yeah. he was like, I think he ended up doing an interview about it. He's like, usually I don't even leave my my driveway for $50,000. $50, it was like, oh God. How, okay, wait. Also, if the Cohen brothers were offering you that, I guess you would still do it. But like, how fucking rude of, whoever directed this film or whoever produced it or whoever does the money to only offer Bill Murray 50 grand to be in your fucking shitty Garfield animated movie with like a bunch of weirdos. I mean, the, the, the audacity of this guy (laughs) to, I mean, if you're going to go to the trouble to call the 800 number and pitch your shit, then you know what? I, good for you. Good is it, for this guy. Is it even any trouble? It's like a toll-free <laughs> call. You don't even have to pay for it. Yeah. He, <laughs> like, that's the thing. You call this number. You don't know if he's going to pick up the voicemail. Like, he's not going to answer the phone. It's all voicemail. So, you, yeah. people just have to leave, like, long, rambling voicemails. Like, it, 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 and it's kind of <laughs> actually, I, I kind of like it because you have to do an elevator pitch. Yeah. To... And you have to have it, it be a cohesive thing and you have to have your shit together. Otherwise, yeah. he's just going to ignore you. Yeah. If you have a good enough pitch, you're, you're, uh, that's pretty fucking, I don't know. That's great. Well, but this, this guy just banked off the, the, <laughs> his name. Yeah. Name recognition. Name, <laughs> fake ra- fake name, name recognition, yeah, but mistaken still. Mistaken <laughs> name recognition. <laughs> What a what a funny fucking story! Uh, but yeah, that's that's basically how Garfield got made with Bill Murray voicing Garfield, uh, uh, and then he did the sequel. Yeah, I was gonna say that's how Garfield <laughs> and Garfield two got made. What the fuck? Was he just like, man, this was easy? Uh, like, I don't even care. I guess I'll just do the sequel and get another fifty thousand dollars, right? Yeah, fucking hell yeah, dude! voiceover work is supposed to be awesome celebs love it you roll in in your pjs and you do like a couple days work and you're done amazing i want to yeah. do that me too God. i, th- I somebody, think i might take a class hi is somebody uh hire me for your movie i will be a voice of a character thank you Same. yeah thank you um do you need a good cackle because we can supply it <laughs> do you need a smoker's uh <laughs> wheeze laugh <laughs> we got it oh god yeah my whole uh, my whole laugh last episode was awful. All right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's funny. Um, anyway, yeah. So those are those are some fun fun stories. Um, I'll, let's see. I Any also other fun read stories? that he and I remember this story coming out, but I I can't remember when it was. But I know he was arrested in Sweden for drunk driving on a golf cart. Oh yeah, he like knocked over a bunch of stalls and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. That's yeah. not good. And then there's like a bunch of fun ones. So if you go to the website, Bill Murray Stories, that we mentioned earlier, there's just like a lot of fun stories. Um, he, I think he currently lives in South Carolina. Hopefully his shit's all Ooh, yeah. in a good position, all that. And hopefully I hope, I, anyone there is okay. Yeah. I hope the hurricane is, I don't know, by the time this comes out, I hope it's all blown out and ugh, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, hopefully. At the time of this recording, it's it's just getting going. So. Yikes. Um, but yeah, so he's seen out a lot. He's seen like out a lot because he's just out and about doing his thing, living there. He doesn't yeah. he doesn't work that much anymore. Like uh, on his IMDb, he's not like doing a ton of movies. He's an older man now. He's sixty seven. So, um, yeah. but there's really fun stories about him crashing people's like house parties and like doing their dishes and um, just seeing people in restaurants and sending them, you know, they like send him a shot and he sends them something weird. Uh, a plate a of rice. Note. Yeah, a plate of rice. That was funny. And he's like, don't gobble it all up or something. Yeah. Like, just weird. Um, and then he's like crashed a couple's engagement shoot and a bachelor party. And it's fun because there's like video and pictures and stuff from all this. And he seems like a pretty nice guy. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, but unfortunately, I mean, like the the bachelor party, he like gave everybody like marital advice. Yeah. Or like or lo- av- advice about love, I guess. Yeah. And I don't know, like he I don't know if he's the best person to be giving that kind of advice. And not because he's a bachelor. No. He's been married. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to rain on everybody's parade real quick and tell you I don't know I didn't know this uh, because all the good stuff about him that's always written really overshadows it um, that the fact that he um, when he divorced his wife Jennifer Butler Murray in 2008 she when all the divorce proceedings came out it was um, she alleged that uh, it's so it sucks so bad that he um he abused her so Uh. yeah uh she said that uh adultery addiction to marijuana and alcohol abusive behavior physical abuse sexual addictions and frequent abandonment led her uh in 2006 to move into a separate south carolina home uh and they had four kids together oh so yeah uh she she said that he abused her on several occasions. Um, they were married, I think, in 1997. Wow. And it, at one point in 2007, uh, November 2007, they got into a physical altercation and he hit her in the face. Ugh. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's there's all there, – there, you could read all the divorce proceedings online if you want to delve into this. But I didn't know about this. Uh, I guess maybe it was so long ago and we didn't really have, like, the kind of climate that we have now uh, yeah. when this all came out that it would have been a really big deal. So I think it got kind of forgotten about. And when I was researching this, I, I kept – like, this stuff kept popping up where it was like – He's not the not the greatest person, and like I was like, what? Who's who? All I ever hear are good things about him, and yeah. so started reading about this, and it really, it really bums me out. But you know, at the same time, it's like you can't. I don't know. I think that's the problem with like celebrity culture is that we don't know these people. Yeah. Um. Like, and also it 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 forces you to kind of have these hard conversations with yourself Mm -hmm. and what kind of standards you hold people to and like what you're willing to write off and what you're not willing to, to accept. Uh, I don't know. It's like starting to bring all these like thoughts up about like, Oh, how do we kind of proceed with when there is this type of situation Mm -hmm. and can you still like someone's body of work and can it still be something you talk about and love, even though, as a person, they're like, they don't have a clean record, and I I don't know, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, and this is like a pretty clear cut case. It's not like some because some of like this like sexual abuse allegations that have come out, like or sexual assault or sexual harassment allegations that have come out, have been on such a spectrum where people are like, oh, it's not that bad, which yeah. you know, fuck fuck that first of all yeah but like this is like literal domestic violence like yeah. you like this is pretty there's no scale like the, it is it is what it is and it's just like really fucking shitty and um like I don't know how to feel about him now like yeah. I I think I'll always like be a huge fan of the movies he's been in like Ghostbusters is one of my all-time favorite oh, movies because yeah. that is my childhood, you know? Like yeah. I'll like me and my brother watched that movie on repeat constantly when we were little kids. Like yeah. and I don't know, or or and Groundhog Day and like, you know, all these movies that he's been in where you're like, This is a great movie. This is I love him, whatever. Yeah. But like you don't know him. You know, you don't know the you love the character of him. Yeah. And I think when he's out out in the wild and interacting with fans and stuff, he's still playing a character. So I don't know. Yeah. I will say though, like all that, all that said, like I, I don't bring it up to like shit on, on anybody's childhood memories or, you know, or to, or to just throw it, throw it in somebody's face and make them feel like shit for, for liking 
him and um I mean we talked all this good stuff about him at the top so you you make your own decision about what art and what uh content you want to consume by by different people and but I would just say I think we just need to have a better I better perspective about like celebrity culture like we can't we just can't idolize these people because it hurts it hurts so much when you find out all this shitty stuff about them because they're human beings like yeah humans contain multitudes and i don't it's not an excuse and not a defense but yeah you know there's so much about a person that we don't know and we'll never know even people that are in our lives that we know personally yeah so how can you ever truly know a celebrity and you shouldn't be so invested in in them and I don't know yeah it's hard and it's like how are you gonna it's hard when you let someone like one person ruin it for everyone like it for me it doesn't mean I'm not gonna like watch other like I'm not gonna watch Kingpin or something because he's in it it's a great movie you know I don't know I still love that movie that's my favorite Bill Murray movie and I love Woody Harrelson in that movie and it's just such a good movie uh and so I don't know I don't think that singular people should take down whole no you know like in the case of Roseanne it's different because she was the creator of that show and I'm glad it happened because now they're gonna have a spinoff she's not involved it seems like it's gonna work out for everyone else that like wasn't yeah a racist asshole yeah that had nothing to do with her bullshit yeah i think john goodman is actually a good man um yes (laughs) so yeah all i'm saying is just get ready for for tom hanks to have something shitty come out (gasps) about no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding he would be shocking it would be shocking but also would it but also are we surprised if it if it that's what I'm saying. But also, it's like I think I think Hollywood, especially like the business side of it, has drawn so many slimy people to it. It's kind mm-hmm. of like Wall Street. Like I just think there's so many gross broy dudes involved in like the business of Hollywood that like it's it's like created deeply this, rooted. Yeah. yeah. Well, petri dish. Well, think of about scum. Think about like the early days of Hollywood and yeah. all this shit. Like. Oh, like we had the like we talked about it a little bit in the fatty arbuckle episode yeah where it's like you could just literally kill people or rape women or whatever and nobody batted an eye it was just yeah. like this is the way it is and i mean that definitely still happens but yeah it's like if you go back and look at any celebrity from any era that was beloved or is beloved yeah there's something there's you're gonna find some shit and oh yeah um it's just like be ready for that. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So. All right. Fuck. Sorry, guys. I don't want to be yeah. on anybody's parade, well. but. <laughs> yeah. People have, people have layers. Yeah. <sighs> like an onion. Like an onion. Well. Well. Follow us on well, social meets. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Don't tell Bill Murray about this episode, guys. <laughs> if you see him. No. He still can be a funny dude and have done bad things. Uh, people are. Uh, all things existing at once. Mm-hmm. So that's true. Uh, yeah. Listen, just be better. Everybody, be better. Everybody, try and be better and be kind. Be kind. Yeah. Don't don't be assholes. Yeah. Um. Okay. So social means at DTFU podcast. All the platforms. Um. Go we, to our website. Yeah. DTFU podcast dot com. Dude, you actually just go to our website because you could get yeah. to social media from there. You could get to iTunes to leave us a five star review um, and or a rating. And you could also write us a written review. We love them. They're so great. Yeah. And uh, what else? You can you can send us a note through there. If you hated this episode, just let us know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't tell us. We don't care. Yeah, no. we don't care. I don't care. Uh, no. Um, yeah, if you have any ideas for episodes, you could always pitch them our way. Absolutely. Um, I think that's pretty much all the things. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for hmm. listening, everybody. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. And um, be excellent to each other. Yeah, and to yourselves. Yeah, most of all. Most of all to yourselves first. 
so that first, you can then be excellent to other people. That's right. That's right. You got to put your oxygen mask on first. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.